What is going on YouTube? This is Black Bigot with the Tuesday Q&A. Happy New Year's to everybody out there. I hope you guys have a happy and safe New Year's Eve. Don't get too drunk and don't get arrested. Try not to go uh, to jail or have sex with people that have AIDS. Just a little bit of advice. I had to learn the hard way. Not about the AIDS. I don't have AIDS. I don't know about your asses. I don't got AIDS. I'm talking about the... Uh, it's a long story. Uh, let's get into the Tuesday Q&A. By the way, guys, my stickers are for sale. The link in the uh, description box for my PayPal and my Cash App. If you want to buy any stickers, it's $7. If you buy two of my stickers, I'll give you, I'll give you a free uh, YouTube's Most Wanted sticker. Ooh, it's special. I've sold like 11. Cheap bastards. All right, first question from Al Mahmood. What's up, Mr. Mahmood? Hey, Black Bigot, it's Al Mahmood. I know, I just said your name. I've been following your channel for a while now. I know that you've worked at a morgue or worked at a morgue, and I was interested in doing so to just, I wanted to get your thoughts on how to get into the in industry. Thank you. Uh, you got to go to school for mortuary science. Um, I got arrested, and for community service, I had to work at the coroner's office. So you, you either got to go to school, or you just get a job at a funeral home sweeping and doing janitorial, I'm sure they teach you how to embalm bodies. Good luck on your endeavors, Mr. Mahmood. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, next question from Justin Openchowski. Didn't I read your question before? I don't remember. Did Epstein kill himself? No, he did not. He was murdered. Thank you for the question. Uh, next question from Damar Kemp. Hey, man, I want to give a shout out to my niggas Holoman, T.Y. or Ty, Andre, and KB. By the way, that girl that made you shrimp pasta, what did she jump into? Uh, jacuzzi. She jumped into a two-piece bikini, and then she jumped into a jacuzzi. She should have just jumped into my lap, but um, that's all she jumped into. And then she later on jumped into uh, hooking up with an ugly guy and having uh, a baby. Thank you for the question. Uh, let's see. Next question from SW Stretch Willie 2. What's going on? Which is better, Taco Bell or Popeye's Chicken? Uh, depends on what you want. Um, I would say... I would say uh, Taco Bell because I like their quesadillas better than anything that uh, Popeyes has. Thank you for the question. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this guy says. Uh, uh, question from Lee Tallman. Why were you wearing a kitchen towel last Q&A? Creepy doofus. Love the content. Uh, I wasn't feeling good. Uh, I was sick, bro. So the towel was just kind of over my head just to, you know, I put a little bit of water in there, you know, so I could feel better. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for your concerns about my health. Appreciate that. Uh, next question from uh, Don King. Don King, not the boxing promoter, but the woman, Don King. Spells it with a, a D-A-W-N, not D-O-N. Hey, BB, in your opinion, besides porn stars and strippers, what is the sexiest occupation that women work? Love your videos and look forward to future ones. Well, that's easy. Prostitution. Uh, those are pretty sexy. Uh, you didn't mention anything about uh, prostitutes. You specifically said porn stars and strippers. So that is my answer, and I'm sticking to it. I uh, love those prostitutes, especially the cheap ones. Thank you for the question, Miss King. Um, next question from uh, Leonde Kyles. Leonde or Leonde? I'm not sure. Mr. Kyles. I was wondering how many miles your van has on it. P.S. Hope to see you succeed in the future with a nice big house and a cool-ass car. Thank you. Uh, right now, it has. I know a lot of you guys always wonder about my van, how many miles it has. It has 201,079. And I need an oil change. Thank you for the question, sir. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, next question from uh, Sam Molly. Hey, Black Biggest Sam from Nashville. Why aren't you a semi-truck driver? If you've already got a CDL and everything, you'd make good money for doing a simple-ass job. You can make videos still, obviously. Also, in a hypothetical situation where money was of no issue and you had a house and everything, what car would you drive and why? My car would be the one Paul Walker died in. If you know, you know. Uh, didn't he drive like this souped-up Porsche? Uh, or a Nissan? I don't, I don't know. Uh... Uh, I just don't want to drive a truck right now. That's all. Uh, and if I had my dream car, see, I'm not a fancy guy. So my dream car, I could, I mean, I, I would like to get like a, like a mid 2000s Nissan Z. I like those cars. 
a uh, little six-speed Nissan Z souped up and go really fast. Or um, if I had really good money, I'd get like a um, I get like a 1981 Porsche Turbo 911. I like those little cars. But the Nissan Z is is very obtainable. I can get a Nissan Z. Uh, but that's what I probably want. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, uh, next question from Chase Delaney. Uh, what's good, bigot? Do you plan on visiting Washington State by this upcoming summer, or have you? And what do you think? Western Washington around Seattle or north to be specific. I'd love to link up if you plan on going this way, man. Stay safe, brother. Also, how do you upload your videos? Do you do it through your cell phone? I've been trying to start uploading videos and I can only get my quality to be 480p. Though my camera is a 1080 and I can't just adjust, adjust to upload quality. So I've been having trouble. Blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? Dude? You got so many fucking problems. Jesus Christ. I got enough of my own fucking problems without you fucking. Oh, my 1080p camera. Oh, my goodness. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know when I'm going up there. Uh, that's all I uh, totally up in the air. Dude, just use your fucking cell phone, dude. You're, dude, you're not, dude. You're probably not that interesting, and you're not that charismatic, dude. Nobody cares about your quality of your videos. See, that's where you guys fuck up. That's where, like, a lot of people that begin in YouTube, you fuck up because you guys don't have any personality. But you're, oh my god, I got this vlogging camera. Oh, it's got a 1080p. It's got 280z. Dude, who gives a fuck? Be fucking funny or be interesting. Nobody gives a fuck about the quality of my fucking camera. Now, don't get me wrong, it helps, but I got fucking beautiful eyes. Thank you for the question, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, next question from uh, Pepsi Max. Um, hey, have you ever got have you ever got a back sack and crack wax? Also, how's the fat guts going? Have you started doing sit ups and planks? I got my crack waxed once. I couldn't walk for a day because of the regrowth. Too itchy. It wasn't good. Love you, man. Not in a gay way, like a brother that shakes hands and nods. Keep up the videos. Uh, I guess you mean your butthole wax? No, I think that's that would be very painful. I do shave mine sometimes. Um, uh, a back sack and crack wax. That sounds very painful. Testicles? Is that what you mean? You're you're you're. Are you um? Are you uh, waxing your testicles and your crack? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. But to each their own. Uh, it sounds very painful though. I, I don't even think I would do that on a dare. That sounds very very painful. Anyways, thank you for the uh, thank you for the uh, question. Okay, next question from I got all these uh, stupid emails from people. Can I get some free stickers? Can I get some free stickers? No, you can't. I'm not giving out any damn free stickers. I got stickers for sale. The link will be in the description box below. And nobody's buying any. I want my trailer. God, man, I gotta. I have really gotta get rid of these damn. Um, Stupid question. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, okay, one day I do got to go. Okay, next question from... Um, Morphine to you. Uh, hey, BB, I just have a quick question. When are you going to come and get balls deep? Um, when am I going to come and get balls deep? Well, morphing to you, um, I don't know. Um, is that an invite for me to get balls deep with you? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I would love to get balls deep with you. Um, I, I totally would. I would totally get balls deep with you. Um, you're a little bit far, but, um, you know, uh, personally, I think you're scared, so... I don't, I, I, I don't think you can handle the ride. I don't think a lot of women can handle this ride. Yeah, sure. You know, I got a, I got a small pecker. So going balls deep, it's like, it's not going very far. I mean, that, that's like, that's like saying you're going on a long ass road trip and you're like driving like, you know, down the street at McDonald's to go get a double cheeseburger. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's link up, get that balls deep right there. Thank you for the question. Morphine to you. Uh, next question from Tristan McGuire. Uh, this is Tristan, a.k.a. Shitpacker, a.k.a. Young G, nigga, a.k.a. Fuck You. What do you think about the city of St. Louis and what would it take for you to live in Missouri? Also give a shout out to my homie, Ben Dover. 
Peace, bigot. Uh, what's up, young G, uh, nigga, aka fuck you? What's going on? Uh, what do I think about St. Louis? Um, it's kind of a crap hole place, but um, I mean, I'll, I'll, it's a lot of uh, inter interesting places, uh, graveyards to go uh, explore, shit like that. I will be going through St. Louis sometime early in the spring. Uh, I. I like Missouri, but I don't know if I would live there because it gets too cold. I like Kansas City. That's my favorite city in Missouri. But Missouri has some nice parts. It has some bad parts. Uh, I do like that state, though. That state is on my uh, list of uh, cool states that I I wouldn't mind staying in. Like, if I were to stay the whole entire you know, month uh, of next year in Missouri and I couldn't, like, leave Missouri, I, it, I wouldn't mind it too much um it's all right missouri's cool uh thank you for the question young nigga um uh, hard a on that hard a uh next question uh from uh fernando awesome hey black bacon this is fernando from double bacon cheeseburger california that's bakersfield have you ever got haunted by the ghost of the guy's sweats you took lol but you have any ghost story living out there is a van okay so um so fernando awesome was talking about these sweats that i found in a cemetery uh i found these in a cemetery at the one in aurora texas a little bit outside of fort worth and let me tell you something these fucking things were all covered with dirt they were covered with leaves and uh let me tell you something i took them home i, I well, took them to the laundromat and i washed them let me tell you those are fucking awesome sweats. They don't have any holes in them and they're clean. No stains, no nothing. Uh, I'm not haunted by the dead guy whose sweats I took. Fuck me, ain't using them anymore. It's it's they're mine now. They're fucking mine now. You're no longer here and you don't need the fucking sweats. I do. Um, I don't really have a ghost story, um, but uh, I hope I don't get haunted. But see, now you got me fucking paranoid. Fuck, maybe I should get rid of them. Anyway, thank you for the question, sir. Uh. We're making nice, uh, making nice, uh, nice change right here. Nice, uh, nice, uh, okay. We got a question, uh, uh, the question from Heather Burns. Uh, Hey, Blake Bigger, you look like you want some girl to foot smother you. Do you have a foot fetish for women? Um, yeah, I know. I don't have like I don't have any weird fetishes. Um like a foot fetish, like you mean like I want to like fuck your feet, like like stick like you know what I mean? Like something like that? No. Um I don't think so. Um Yeah, I don't really have any fetish. Uh, there's nothing that I'm like, "Oh my god, I love that part of a woman's body." No, I love all parts of a woman's body. I love all parts, morphine. Talk about, I'm going to get balls deep. I don't know. Can you take all of this? It's like this big. Anyways, um, thank you for the question. Why? Do you want me to You want me to uh, bang your feet out? Is that what you want? Anyway. Uh, next question from uh, Linton Tyler. That's an interesting name. Uh, hypothetical. If there was a clone of yourself... Would it be gay for you, for your clone to suck you off? I say no. But if you were to suck your clone's dick, that has to be gay, right? Can you please elaborate? P.S. When will you get your DNA results? Can you record your reaction live? I want to see your face expression when you realize your mom got blacked. Love your videos. Well, thank you, Linton Tyler. Um... Okay, so the cl the clone, the clone issue. That's an issue that I've brought up many times before in my live streams. Uh, let's say somebody made a clone of you, and like, let's say you're like really ugly, or nobody wants to have sex with you because you're a disgusting foul pig, and you're just looking at your clone, and like you can basically tell your clone to do whatever. Uh, would you let your clone give you a blowjob? Um, honestly, I wouldn't. I j I still think that's gay. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Everything is okay. It's fine to be gay. It's good to be gay. I'm I, I, I'm gay right now. I, I I love gay people. I got I got I got I got, no, I got no problems with the gay people. Just want to let let that let that be known. So if you receive head from a clone, you think that's not gay. But if you suck off your clone, why would you want to suck off your clone? I mean, if you're gonna suck off your clone, you might as well just go suck off guys. So that's gay. 
But I also think receiving it is gay too. Unless you're in prison. Now, if you were in prison or you were on a deserted island, and I, it, okay, look, how about this? If I was like a castaways, like a la, a la, uh, Tom uh, Tom Hanks, or whatever the hell his name is, and I was on uh, an island and it was just me and my clone, oh, all bets are off. I'm gonna get balls deep in that clone. Just making sure it's not a gang maker doing a drug bounty. Yeah, yeah, that clone is, uh, dude, that clone's butthole would be this big. And it, it'll only be this big because I would just start, I just start doing all kinds of weird things to the clone. Like I, I start fucking him with bowling pins and tree branches and shoving pine cones up there. I'd probably use it for some kind of storage space. I would, I would abuse the shit out of my clone. Like my clone would, like he would hate me, but he'd have no choice. He'd probably end up going around, uh, going like back and smashing my head uh, in with a coconut uh, as I sleep. So don't abuse your clones, guys. Don't abuse your clones. Uh, thank you for the question, sir. Uh, we got time for, I got all the time in the world. Uh, we'll do one more question. It's, it's, it's so this is pretty good. I, I've caught up on questions. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of almost, well, I'm not, I'm still behind, but not nearly as much as I was before. Uh, uh la, 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 well, actually I'm probably about 30 questions behind. Um, so one more question guys, by the way, my stickers, if you, if you guys, anybody buy any stickers, the link to my PayPal and Cash App will be in the description box below. Thank you very much. Um, last question from CRRCRR. Thoughts on a 59 Impala? Um, I'm not into classic cars. I'm, I'm not really even into cars, period. I don't have any opinion about a 59 Impala because I don't appreciate classic cars. I mean, I appreciate minivans because I can sleep in them and have sex. That's about it. And a 59 Impala, I'm sure it's a nice car, probably a gangster car with the lowrider. Whatever. I don't freaking know. Uh, I'm sure it's a nice car. Anyways, guys, uh, another Tuesday Q&A in the books. I am planning on not shaving for quite some time. I'm just going to trim right here. But I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this bad boy grow. I know some of you don't like the beard. Whatever. What are you gonna do? Um, yeah. And about the the uh, the 23andMe DNA test, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that um, next week. How does that sound? When I get to Arizona or wherever the hell I get it, I'll I'll, I'll do it. All right, guys. I am Black Bigot. This is what I would look like without eyebrows. See, I wouldn't really look cool, right? Catch up with you later. Peace out.